The idea of being lost in the woods at night alone is a pretty scary concept, and the new game Through the Woods dives into that at least a little bit. But are these woods filled with some sweet scares, or should this wood just be used for kindling? Through the Woods is a third-person perspective adventure game with elements of horror. It kind of banks on the horror part and really tries to make it seem like the game is much scarier than what it really actually ends up being. That doesn't mean that the game is necessarily bad. The other aspects of the title end up weighing it down much more so than just not having enough horror. The game is very much steeped in Norse mythology. Taking place in Norway, you play as a mother named Karen who frequently takes her son to this cabin in the woods. Over time, she becomes closer to her son, but at the same time ends up alienating him to the point that he doesn't want to be around his mother that much. He ends up running off and you soon end up finding him, but he's pushed into the boat by a mysterious old man. Of course, you're going to give chase and soon the game really ends up beginning. This premise is actually interesting, though we've seen it a million times before, a parent trying to find their lost child. The game has a decent story, it's just not told very well, and the gameplay doesn't help it either. The story itself does a nice job of showing the relationship between the mother and son failing and trying to grow, as well as mixing in the Norse mythology that ends up being a bit intriguing, with a lot of weird elements that end up being thrown in as the story progresses, with a rather interesting ending. It's just too bad that the voice acting, graphics, just overall design of the areas is just so kind of bland, or just okay, that it really takes away from what could have been a fun narrative. Most of the game, though, you're just running. You're running through the forest, you're running through a Norse village, you're running through wherever you have to run through next. That's all the game mostly is. There are a very few scarce encounters against mythology monsters, some more interesting than others. You have some kind of generic ones like giant wolves or trolls, and you also have things like witches being included, and some more obscure Norse creatures. The problem is, there's no combat in the game, or really any way to deal with the creatures other than just learn where they go, where they walk, how they act, and then just run past them and get to the next area. This would be all fine and good if this wasn't the entire game. It's pretty much just run through a generic forest or cave area, deal with that monster running past them, and then into the next generic forest or cave area. There are some letters to find and things to help you understand the story a bit better, some collectibles and the like, but really other than that, there isn't much going on. The few characters that you run across and a few interesting moments that do happen are just once again taken away from by having just so poor execution of them. You'll probably either be laughing or yawning. From the technical side of things, the game thankfully didn't crash on me, but there were some other minor glitches here and there, some slowdown, especially farther into the game in more tense moments it would freeze up a little bit, as well as the game also had plenty of texture pop in while exploring. Through the Woods is available now on the PlayStation 4 for $19.99, it does have a Platinum Trophy, and the game is also on Xbox One and Steam. Overall, Through the Woods is a good example of a game that I really wanted to like because it was intriguing enough with the use of the Norse mythology, along with some really good music actually throughout the game, but it just is told so poorly and just executed in just an okay, mediocre way that it took away from all of the experience. I do still think some will end up enjoying this game, get a few scares, and see past its mediocrity as far as the storytelling is concerned, and just see the story for what it is. But still, it's not that amazing of a story that it's worth playing through just an okay game that's only about two to three hours long at the most on your first playthrough. With that said, I'm going to be giving Through the Woods a 4 out of 10. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.